This is a win or go home for Edmonton Oilers. Here we go, guys. Jay, guys, all yours. Enjoy your next game. Los Angeles goal, this first goal in the his 21st goal in the playoff score by number 11, Anze Kopitar. Time of the goal, 24 seconds in the first period. One shot on goal for the Kings and zero shots on goal for Oilers in the Stanley Cup playoffs. I'll have to look at the replay here later. Well, let's just keep on going. Oh yeah, did look at Anderson. Yep, he's out. Alright, with the look of the Kopitar, he had a quick move and a hustle. Look at the inbound. That was a better play when you're looking at it right towards the puck. And keep that one with the blade with you. And there's a shot. There was a goal, and he was right toward it in front of a skinner. That was a very close call. And you could definitely tell because the other angle of by him, he was right around it. All around the player, and he was right towards it into the goalie. He didn't really could get a clear on that one here. It looks like that CC should have got one here, but he but he lost it that time. He didn't get it right away. So it looks like he just made that one a goal instead. That was a quick play in this muscle. And we forgot to change the camera, so it looks like we'll just change it off to true broadcast just for now. So let's uh let's make it a little quick fixture and let's get into this one. Back to you guys. Alright, back into action. Back to you guys.
and staying possession along the boards. Working the puck deep inside the road end. Gaining momentum along the wing. To the front! Here's a short pass to Cece. And he makes the save. The Kings have it now. The Oilers look to start the transition game. They'll dump it in and peel off for a change. Scooped up along the wall by Foma. Chase the Stop by the goaltender. And that's just out of reach. Sends it into the offensive zone. The Oilers have it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Ryan. Mellows trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Bouchard's taking it from his own end. And now he moves it quickly to Eckholm. The Kings gain possession along the wall. Thomas Sellers moving the puck through his own zone. Anderson's absence will continue for the rest of the evening. He's just been ruled out by the training staff. Thanks, Ray. We'll see how this impacts the game now going forward. The Kings win the draw. Battle along the boards. And that'll free up the puck. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. There's the whistle. We got it offside. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. LA's ahead. 1-0. The Oilers get a hold of the puck off the draw. And he sends it across to Hyman. The Kings scoop it up along the boards. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Quick shot. Oh, a clutch save. Good save. Positional save through drop. That's the rest of the time. And a strong effort on that play. We often talk about a goal as reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. The Kings win it. Taken by Rock. Oh, great save there! They're working really hard these days to make sure when they stop the puck, it doesn't stay in front of them. If they can't stop it and catch it, they want that puck in the corner. And that shot goes in. Two minute penalty for the Los Angeles Kings for interference. Well, the water gets on pretty quickly here. The penalty killers have to do the job to protect this one goal lead. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first. It's the Boilers power play. Ronald Say Garakov, two minutes for interference. Time and a penalty, 11.23 remaining in the first period. Four. 
fourth goal in the playoff score by number 29, Leon Dreisaitl. His first assist here by number 24, Zach Hyman, and by number 22, Darnell Nurse. Top of the goal, 10.50 remaining in the first period. Eight shots on goal for Edmonton Oilers, and it's five shots on goal for the LA Kings. And with Leon Dreisaitl's score, 10, they have 9.50 remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Still got a lot of time right now. He passed the midway period. It's tied up 1 1. We gotta find out who gets the next goal. The Kings win it in the defensive zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Highfield. And now it's over to Walker. Pushes it across to Kobe. Good reach of the stick to make it up away. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Sends into the offensive zone. The Kings get a hold of the puck along the boards. And now he tries to get it across to Kempe. The Kings take it along the wall. Rister, the Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Edmonton started across the line. Reaches out and uses a stick. LA is moving it along the wing. And he slides it quickly to Kempe. Great save. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside. We are all tied up in this one. Edmonton's got it in the defensive zone. Looks to get the puck over to Dreisaitl. Here they come on the attack. Puck picked up by Nugent Hopkins. The Kings will play it in their own end. Gets the puck in deep. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Continue to fight for that puck along the wall. The Oilers get a hold of it. And now he angles it across to Nugent Hopkins. Edmonton stopped the puck from the wall. He got all of that. What a save by Corsello. High quality chance, high quality save. Edmonton still a hold of it along the wall. And a heads up kick pass over to his teammate. Quick feed to Costin. Edmonton still on the offense. This one, Skinner. Keep it going. Teams are ready for the draw. The Lions are about to drop the puck. Los Angeles takes possession off the draw. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. LA's gained possession along the boards. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. And he takes the pass. Handles the pass in the right way. Oh, oh. Oh, I love to have that chance. You don't get any of them. You get excited. Sometimes you try to be a little fine, but it's got to be on the net. Tucked away. The Oilers get 
Number 19, Dirtman Shore! Time to go, 1736 remaining in the first period of game. Five, seven, nine shots on goal for the Oilers, and eight shots on goal for the Kings. Also, Edmonton Oilers score. Here's Fernie's seventh goal of the playoffs. Score by number 97, Connor McDavid. His second first assist here by number 27, McCall Alcombe. Time with a goal, 1747 remaining in the first period of the game. Of 10 shots on goal for the Oilers, and 9 shots on goal for the Los Angeles Kings. With, with the Carter McDavid score, 3 to 247 remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Last minute of play in the period. Looks like the Oilers want to get a tie series, but we'll be right back after this. Hey guys, just a quick reminder for all of you guys here, and just a quick update, that we have some tickets left here for the for the BFDI in Anime Insanity experience here for screening only for Gerald W. Lynch Theater, but there's a lot more tickets happening here at the Sabian Media Center every show, and 2.30 is the only screening only that will happen here for the second show to be happening here right at this moment. Plus, so get your tickets now here at animesandy.com slash tickets. Plus, we have the brackets that are to selected for you guys to pick your vote. So we have you guys to make an option that we are now casting the games here for the NHL 24 for next season to cast your bit to make your selections for the next bar next uh, matchups for a new season. So there is a bunch of odd shape in between for your favorite teams that wants to go into the next part of the game for the new season in season three. So you can make your selections now by visiting right here and make a comment down here below. Plus on the media will be happening here on Sun of Beast only. So you make that select choice of the vote you can select the comments here and most of the story of which one who do you want to choose. You can choose in between, like this game of the LA Kings or the Edmonton Oilers, the Devils against the New York Rangers, the battling for the, the Hudson Series rival matchup, the Flyers and the Pittsburgh Penguins of the Pennsylvania Showdown, or any other teams. You can choose any team you want. It doesn't have to be just like the same thing, just like in the Stanley Cup part of the playoffs, like it's happening in real life. So. You can cast right now, and you can make a decision who do you want to see them playing against the other team here for next season of NHL 24. With that being said, it's just a hard one that you can ever always imagine. Now, heading back over is Jay Sabolski and Greg. Back to you guys. Thank you. 
first 10 minutes. The team has not had possession of the puck much at all as a result. They're trailing in this game. Los Angeles goal is, is eighth goal of the playoff score by number eight, Drew Doughty. Assisted here by number 23, Kevin Fiala. Time to goal, a minute and 49 remaining in the second period. Ten, 11 shots on goal for the Los Angeles Kings. And, and 12 shots on goal for the Edmonton Oilers. But Drew Doughty score 18-11 in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. They're trying to get this thing done, but this is a very hard team. They're trying to find someone else to get a goal. They still have a lot of time right now. Under 16 minutes, 3 to 2 is the score. by number 37, by number 22, by Matt Cleoy. Time of the goal, 4.58 remaining in a second period. Four, 14 shots on goal for the Edmonton Oilers. And the Los Angeles Kings, 15, 16 shots on goal. And with a goal of the uh, of, uh, Warren Fulgio. Eighteen, eleven, fifteen, oh one in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Also another Edmonton goal. His second goal in the playoffs scored by number twenty-six, Matthias Jemmar. And 
one assist versus assist in the playoff game by number 22, Ryan McCoy. Time and a goal, six minutes remaining in the second period. Fifth, 13 shots on goal for the Oilers and six and 15 shots on goal for the Los Angeles Kings. With Mayor's Denmark scored in, a, in 15 minutes in the, in the period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. second period. 14 shots on goal for the Edmonton Oilers and 16 shots on goal for the Kings. Leon Dreisaitl with two goals in the game scored at, at 15 at 12 42 remaining in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. First assist to the game of the playoffs by 91, Evander Kane. And assisted here by number 23, Tyler Wyatt. Time of the goal, 12.43 remaining in the second period. 20 shots on goal for the Los Angeles Kings. And 19 shots on goal for the Edmonton Oilers. 
for Connor McDavid's second goal of the playoffs in this game. Scored by 6-13 in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Getting down to the wire already. It seemed like it's a lot of <laughs> lot of goals for the Edmonton Oilers looking to beat the upset. Just coming down to the minute right now. It's going to be a long yes game to have that fight and opportunity. Last bit of the play in the period.
just coming down the wire already. <laughs> a lot of the shotgun goals already for the Kings. They're just trying to extend it off. Seven two. Be right back for the third period. Period number three, just moments away as the official singles ball teams into position. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's we'll see if anything changes. Ray Ferraro is a nice level and gives us his analysis of the first two periods of play. The team took it from the ball being won. Just a lot of play motion out there. Seven and two is where we left off with the score. to hang on to this 
For the next coming up game, we will have is the Kraken and the Knights. They'll be at Climate Pledge Arena for tonight's game. I'll be keeping an eye on here for the next commentary after this game. Versus this tier, the playoff score played by number 18, Zach Hyman, and by number 14, Solomon Skinner. Time of the goal, 726 remaining in the third period. Shots on school for uh, number 42 for the Oilers, and Los Angeles 40 in the third period. Ricardo McDavid's third goal. Twelve forty-eight remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Los Angeles goal, his third goal in the playoffs, scored by number fifty-five, Quinton Byfield. He versus this year by number twelve, Adrian Kempe, and by number twenty, and by number twenty-three, Kevin Fiala. Time of the goal, eight twenty-two remaining in the third period of the game. 41 shots of goal for the Los Angeles Kings and 42 shots of goal for the Edmonton Oilers. With the time of the goal for Quinton Byfield, 11.43 remain, 11.03 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. They still have a lot of them, but that's true there, Greg. They really are showing their nightmares. Kubasaro's out of here. Now it's Copley with a replacement for the goalie for tonight.
Thank you so much, Sir Greg. Al comes out of here, but he will return in Game 7 to get back into the game. Number 93, Ryan Newton Hopkins. His first assist here by number 25, Sir CC. And by number 74, Solomon Skinner. Time to go 15 10 remaining in the third period of the game. Forty-three, forty-five shots on goal for the Edmonton Oilers, and forty-three shots on goal for the Oilers. With Ryan Eugene Hopkins scoring the third, with four thirty-two remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. There's still a little bit, a few minutes left right now in the third period. The Edmonton Oilers might go for the series tie. Thanks, Ray. We'll see how this impacts the game now. 
going forward. The Fox won the draw inside his own end. Handles the puck. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Last man to play in the third period. Just a few more seconds right now, and then it will be all over for game number six. Sir Jay and Greg, so sorry about the volume, but it's a little bit hard to hear. But not for long, the Oilers are in the series tie game. It's a 9 and 3 final score. They've been on track. And now the closings off with the three star players of the game. Let's have a look at how they did. Your first star goes to Leon Dreisaitl. Only two goals in this game, and it turned out with a rebound and put it back in Ron Corpusala. The second star, on the other hand, goes to Connor McDavid with three goals. He finally have releases the hat trick. All it does come out with a bang and made that one in there to throw hats in. That is for him. And your first star, Stuart Skinner, 58 saves. It's been a great night for Stuart Skinner. They all really loved him. Better than Campbell. But anyway, I guess that's really it. Your final of this part of the game comes up with the total statistics. 61 to 53 is your total shot. 16 hits, 26 hits, 526 and 625 in time on attacks. 92% of, of the Oilers, over 85% of them are passing for the Kings. 42 face-off wins for the Kings and 20 for Edmonton Oilers. Then it was 2-minute penalty kill for LA Kings and 2-minute power play excuse me, for the uh, Edmonton Oilers. And no power play goal was proceeded. So it looks like it is about to happen now back at LA to do another rematch for Crypto.com Arena. And this will be a win to get in for the next round to face against the uh, winning opponent team. It will be in between the zone of the Kraken and the Knights. Well, we'll see how they do because this is a tough one that we have never seen it before. Anyways, TestTube is out of here. Thank you all so much for joining with us for tonight. And if you're all ready to take the next game, we've got another one coming up for you. The Knights and Kraken are underway. See you all in just a bit. And peace out, everyone, for a while as the 
NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. See you all next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.